Hey, welcome back to UFOs Above Us. All right, today we're going to look at more pictures that show proof or evidence of mining activity. The main feature, we're going to focus at one crater here. So the main area we're going to look at is this large crater right here. And in that crater, it's pretty obvious what we're going to look at. For one, look at this giant ramp. And that's pretty much unmistakable. I mean, it's easy to see without any strain at all that there's a giant ramp built into this crater going up the side of one wall there. So there's a giant ramp. Keeping in mind that this is a huge crater. So when we're talking about going up the side of one wall, that wall could be miles across and thousands and thousands of feet high. So this is a major, what we'd call a mega structure. Look at all the supports to hold that up. So that's clear cut evidence of a structure in the moon. I mean, I think we can rule it out, but if that's not enough, look at this giant tube structure right here. Kind of reminds you of a water park when you have those giant slides at the water park. Only this thing would be miles across and going, again, thousands of feet up into the air. So now what the purpose of that is, I don't know. But it looks like it may be some kind of a lift mechanism. That's my best guess. So the tube I'm not sure of, but the ramp is pretty clear cut. That ramp is there for, I believe, for mining. Again, for helium-3. All right, so we're just going to look at a series of pictures here, and you'll see they're all very similar. Um, one of them in particular has really good contrast, so you can see a lot, but all of them show the same thing. I think right now we can pretty much put to bed the question of, is there intelligent design on the moon? Because look at that. No one is going in their right mind is going to try to say, well, that's just natural rock formations on the moon. It, you know, you've got to be kidding me. No one's going to buy that. That's not. That's some kind of a structure. Some kind of intelligent design. Look at that tube. That's pretty clear cut there. So, I, again, I don't know what exactly it's there for, and I don't know who put it there, but there is definitely a giant ramp and a giant tube built into this crater. And it's only because of the new equipment that I'm using that I can get enough resolution to make these out. I've taken pictures for years where I couldn't see stuff like this. So look at all the detail. I'm not going to go into all these other objects that you see around the crater, but um, the ramp is unmistakable. The tube is unmistakable. So those are for sure. Now the rest of this stuff around these pictures, you can look at it on your own, pause the pictures, take a good look at it, and I think you'll enjoy it. But, it, you know, it's very interesting. All right, so just looking at another picture here, and there you've got more evidence. You know, clearly that's a ramp. No question about that. Clearly that's a tube. And you can see kind of that right angle at the end of the tube. Now, my guess, just looking at these, my guess is that there's vehicles transporting material. You know, they mine material and then haul it up the ramp and process it. That's that's my guess. I have nothing to verify it with. I You know, I'm getting the best I can resolution. This picture here, you can even see a few more details. I don't, I'm not sure what these are, but that looked interesting to me. Uh, and, you know, I won't point them all out, but there's things like that all around the crater you could look at if you want to. So um, these pictures are getting better and better all the time. And I'm to the point now where I've pretty much am getting all the quality I can out of my current setup. And I'm debating going bigger. I'm thinking about going with a really large telescope like this object here. You can tell that something, but I can't quite make out what. If I had, say, a 14-inch telescope using my same techniques, it, it would probably be really interesting what I could pick up. So, again, I'm not going to even speculate on what all these things out to the side of the crater are. We'll leave that for another day or just leave that up to your own imagination. But I do want to focus on the main thing, which is that crater has two objects that are unmistakable. I mean, there's just no way to debate it. That giant crater definitely has a ramp. There's no, no one's going to debate that. You look at this series of pictures and it pretty much proves it. It has a ramp. It definitely has some kind of a giant tube. So I don't know what these are for. You know, what are they using that ramp for? You know, all I can tell you is it's a big ramp with giant structures. You can see these huge supports holding it up. Now, what it doesn't tell us in this picture is what they're doing. Uh, if you look really closely, you can see some detail. It looks like maybe a road back there, and looks like maybe some kind of a vehicle right there. 
But again, with this telescope and this gear, I can't quite make it out. So for today, I'm going to leave it at that. I showed you another clear-cut evidence of structures on the moon. You know, why NASA refuses to admit it, I don't know. Why does the government refuse to admit it? I think people by now can handle the truth. So I hope one day they'll decide to tell us the truth. Until that point, let's keep watching the skies, keep sharing your results. For UFOs above us, keep watching those skies.